Hi everyone, welcome to this another lesson and in this lesson we are going to look at how to subscribe to Oracle Public Cloud. But before we cover subscription to Public Cloud, let me do a quick recap on what we have covered so far um, in this course. So, so we started with how you can make maximum out of this where I explained about getting a support, how you can reach out to support. Also, there is a free unlimited retake option for you for three years, free on-job support, and also make sure you ask on WhatsApp. If you need to know about live sessions, have a look at ketoniacademy.com forward slash live. Also, in the interactive live sessions, ask as many questions as possible, do lots of hands-on, and then, uh, as I always say, learn at your own pace. Aim for certification, also aim for job these are two things you should focus and don't forget to share a little win even if you complete the activity guide make sure you post about it about that activity guide then i've told you about the community also we started with what all things we are going to cover in this uh, entire module so this is what we are going to cover in this module then we already covered what are the characteristics or properties of cloud computing then we looked at three uh, cloud service model, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. We also looked at uh, Oracle's clouded customer, where we looked at private cloud, public cloud, and hybrid cloud. This is what we covered a private cloud, which is nothing but you get a control plane. And with that, you also have to purchase or take a minimum subscription for as of April 2018, it's for four months, sorry, for compute. You have to have the um, oh, sorry. Uh, you have to have the four-year contract with Oracle uh, for this uh, hardware. You buy sub compute, you buy storage, and then you get with that some shared services. You also uh, go for or you also pick up a control plane which is specific to a data center. And on so everything which is control plane uh, with that's managed by Oracle. Anything on top is managed by the customer and Oracle doesn't have any access to the data, but Oracle have access to this backend compute or storage or control pane um, so that they can update these this hardware remotely or at customer site. So this is about clouded customer. We also looked at cloud reference architecture and then we looked at IWS offerings where we looked at OCI bare metal and VMs. We also looked at OCI classic, Kubernetes, cloud native application, Revelo and clouded customer. We also looked at difference between OCI versus OCI classic. We will look at uh, the differences between one is Zen based hypervisor, whereas other one is KVM based hypervisor. Then in what scenario to use why or when to use OCI, when to use OCI classic. Then we also looked at the building blocks of OCI, which is tenancy or region, availability domain, compartment, and then instance or compute, where we looked at two type of compute, bare metal or virtual machine. We also looked at different type of shapes. One is BM stands for bare metal and VM stands for virtual machine. You get a standard of shape, standard type shape, you have high IO shape. You get a dense IO shape as well. Then we looked at storage and all these things we are going to cover in subsequent modules in, in, in detail. We'll go down on to when to use block volume, when to use object volume or object storage, or what happens, um, what is the scope or what is, uh, where does, can you move a block storage from one availability domain to another domain? And all those things we'll cover in their respective modules. We also briefly touched VCN or virtual cloud network, but we'll go in deep in this virtual cloud network in the networking module, which is going to come as module three after IAM or identity and access management. So we will look at the subnets, we look at availability domain, what is virtual cloud network and all everything related to networking will go in module three, where we look at this VCN. We also going to look at, or we briefly touched about identity and access management, but we'll go deep in identity and access management in the next module. Also, there's one more advanced identity and access management that's going to come in towards end of this course. So where we look at advanced policies or advanced rules 
on identity and access management. So there'll be two identity and access management, basic identity and access management, which is next module and the main identity and access management. We also looked at some of the core services and these were the core services. We also looked at high level briefly as services and we are going to look at as services in detail. There's also a Terraform, which is uh, the automation or how do you build uh, or, um, all these things in an automation automated fashion. Terraform, we are going to add that as well a bonus for you guys. So with that, uh, let's start begin with how do you subscribe to Oracle? Now, there's a step by step activity um, covered in this module where we look at how to subscribe to Oracle or cloud Oracle, but then you can get this opportunity or, or I'm going to in this lesson, I'm going to explain you briefly about this so you understand and then go and execute that or pick up that activity guide and follow and create a trial account for yourself. If you've already done it um, and if you have used it within 30 days, then you can go and create one more, but use a different email address and different credit card. So let's begin. First of all, how what is subscription to Oracle Cloud means? So there are two types of subscriptions. You can go for a free trial or a paid subscription in free trial. Oracle get gives you 30 days of trial with the equivalent of $300 credit, which you have an option to upgrade to a paid service later, or you can close or if you do nothing after 30 days, uh, your account will expire. The trial account will expire. Or as soon as you have used $300, the account will put on hold. You will get an option to upgrade. If you don't want to, you will not be charged anything. However, when you go for trial account, you still have to pay $1 to validate your credit card. And one of the common problems we have reached or received or issues which you have received in hands on was that the whatever credit card you use, make sure that credit card is enabled for international payment because the payment, depending on which country you are, it might go to US, UK or in Singapore. So make sure your credit card is allowed for for so that the Oracle still validate, even though it's free, still validate one dollar to validate the credit card. Or you can go for a paid subscription and paid subscription. Again, you can pay on a meter, which is an hourly pay as you go model. You can also go for a non metered monthly where you pay for a monthly sub subscription fee. So you go for your trial account then activate your account when you activate your account first time when you're logging to the account uh, you will receive the login details on the email that you use during registration and when you log in first time it's going to prompt you to change your password and with that it will also give you or it's going to give you an option to set three challenge questions which could be like or what's your uh, first car or model or color you like or set of questions out of which you pick three and answer them and these questions will be used when you forgot your password let's suppose you forgot your password in future so these questions will be used as a another authentication mechanism or second factor of authentication in case you forgot your password then if you want you can set additional admins onto account now, in the next module, where we will look at identity and access management, we are going to create an exercise. You will do an exercise where you add another person. So it could be your own another email ID or another person in your company. You can give them an account access so they can also log in and do work. Now you control the access. So everything related to create adding an additional account will cover that in next module. You also can generate SSH keys and this SSH keys is an authentication mechanism to connect to your compute that we are going to do in subsequent modules or create database that you're going to create in subsequent modules on OCI or any activity that you're going to do through putty you're going to use that SSH keys and then optionally you may go for deploying a database on OCI or you might create a virtual machine or you might create a web server or you might create a Java cloud service on that OCI or an Oracle eBusiness suite environment. So this is all we are going to do. So how to go for it? You go to cloud.oracle.com URL and then on top right, you will see options like sign in or you will also get like sign in. So this is if you already have a cloud account, 
you're going to use that sign in or if you are ready to buy you can go for buy now or if you don't have any cloud account yet and you want to try out free you click on this try for free so if you have if you don't have any account you're going to select this try for free to if you're going for a buy now then you will get a page like that which will give you an option to either buy pay as you go model or monthly flexible and it will also give you the costing of buying a service um so you can it's just an indicator the prices might differ depending on what kind of services you pick whether you pick a block storage or an object storage what kind of shape you pick what kind of database addition you pick what kind of services you choose the pay payment might differ however this is an overview or an estimation of that you can pick up an immediately or non metered so we are not going to buy or i would recommend you unless you for use for your company um if you're doing it as a part of training then use it for practice purpose so then you go for trial which is try for free so we select that try for free when you click on try for free you get uh, you get a page like this and page might differ because oracle keeps changing these pages so page might slightly differ however you should have a button called create a free account so when you create a click on a create a free account you're going to get sign up for free cloud account promotion so you can pick either account type as company use or personal use you can pick any in our activity guide we have picked up personal then you pick up your country and make sure you use current correct country the country from where your credit card is registered company where a current country where you actually belong so you pick your correct country make sure you use correct address and use try to use same address where your credit card is registered now pick up a cloud account name that you can remember or otherwise if you forgot it's going to anyway get an email it will you will get it in an email now the most important thing is default data region now you have an option to select apac my suggestion to you would be pick north america or emea the reason being picking up north america or emea is that apac services are still building a lot of our previous students who have gone through this program have reported that they had problem building some advanced configurations so from default region you pick up a region either north america or emea but make sure country is the same country where you so you can have a country india or singapore or your local country where your default data region could be different so we'll cover also what is that data region and then you fill up other details like email address first name last name and make sure you use a phone number which is correct so country code and phone number so when you register for the, the phone number um, or when you select the phone number click on request code and it's going to validate your phone number by sending a message to your phone so once you get the message you enter that code which is the code that you're going to receive on the phone enter that code and say verify once you verify it will it it understand that the phone number belongs to you then you still have to add a payment method as i said earlier even though you are getting a 300 dollar free credit oracle needs to validate the credit card before they can allow and in order to do that they are going to deduct a dollar amount 1 dollar or pound or one um, um singapore dollar depending on which country you are they might currency might dif differ but it's equivalent to 1 dollar they are going to charge then you look at terms and conditions make sure you select terms and conditions and mark it complete once you fill up all these details and you mark complete then um so this is how the request code page will look like for the phone number that we discussed earlier um so once you have submitted this is how the verification of the phone number will look like once you have submitted all the details you might ask for a date text data as well so select no text detail if you have registered via a company you might want to have a vat registered detail once you have done all these things once you have filled up the credit card payment select the either visa mastercard or amex amex american express and you fill up all the details and then you hit submit when you submit within wait for an hour or so maybe sometime it differs from anywhere ranging from 15 minutes to we have seen as long as 2 hours you should get an email from oracle cloud with a detail saying or oh, you have in this case 250 um, euros 
250 euros or Singapore dollar or American dollar or maybe um, pounds. So you get an email like that and you will get two details in this confirmation email. So as we covered earlier or you will see that I'm not sure if we covered that. I don't think we have covered that. So there are two types of account, traditional account and account with IDCs. I'm going to cover that in a minute. So depending on when you are listening this, you may or may not get that option. So Oracle in January 2018 or December and late December 2017, early 2018, um, they have two options to log in. One is traditional account and second is IDCS. You will get both the login details. So what you see here on left hand side cloud tenant, this is for the traditional uh, traditional method the below traditional cl cloud account so you'll get these details make sure you log in first time and when you first time log in it's going to prompt you for changing the password so i'm going to cover that sign in or first time sign in how does it look like and the traditional versus identity cloud account which i was covering earlier i'm going to show you or tell you in the next lesson so just to do a quick recap what we have done in this lesson is we we started with subscription to Oracle Cloud account. It's a free $300 credit that you get for one month. So you go to try for free and you click on create a free account. Then you select or enter a personal details, phone number, add a credit card payment detail, verify your phone number. Also um, enter your tax details, enter your credit card number. And once you have done, you're going to get a confirmation email. Now, head on to the next lesson. We are going to look at how to sign in to Oracle Cloud account. We'll look at trial account or we'll cover that two mechanism in which you can log in and how to log in and what kind of login page or first time uh, challenge questions you get. So I'll see you in next lesson.